हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम सिद्धार्थ फ्रॉम सास्त्रा एंड एज वी ऑल नो द कॉम्पिटिशन फॉर द आई सर एपिड टू टेस्ट दिस ईयर हैज बीन इंक्रीज लाइक नेवर बिफोर बिकॉज द कमिटी हैज ब्रॉड इन द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया सो मच दैट मेनी मोर कैंडिडेट्स कैन नाउ अपियर फॉर द एग्जाम सो इफ यू आर गिविंग द एग्जाम दिस ईयर यू नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर ब्रिंगिंग योर ए गेम एंड योर प्रेपरेशन शुड बी अप टू द मार्क Today we will be talking about some of the important chapters and topics from the exam point of view. Before we move on, it is understood while discussing that you already have done all the chapters and you have a healthy amount of practice of problems from all of them because most of the problems in physics are not isolated. You will not have to do use concepts from only one particular chapter. to solve a problem you will need multiple concepts from sometimes two opposite chapters in your syllabus just for one answer so it is very very important that you have a strong grasp in every chapter from the syllabus and you have practiced problems from all of them what we will be discussing today will give you a better idea of how much time and energy you should dedicate to particular chapters for last minute revision there are two months left um even less by the time the video comes out there is a very short time remaining and in that time you have to manage between revision and practice very very well practice is very important but revision is also important so let's take a look at what kind of topics you can expect to have questions from this year this is of course based on the frequency of questions appearing in the previous year's exams and of course the revised syllabus that will be applicable from this year onwards so in 11th standard syllabus you can combine all chapters from kinematics right down to collisions and rotation into one unit mechanics because all of these chapters will be used together to form problems you will never be required to only use concepts from let's say work power energy to solve a problem you will need concepts from laws of motion also you will need concepts from kinematic also if there is a uh, question of collisions you will need concepts from system of particles also all of these chapters can be combined not just with each other that's why we are combining them into a unit but all of these chapters can also be combined with every single chapter in the rest of the syllabus to form problems so it is imperative that mechanics is your strongest unit you should be able to solve any mechanics problem given to you because you will be expected to solve a lot of mechanics problems even though the problems may contain topics from other chapters mechanics will be ever present in your exams please make sure that you have a very very strong grasp of mechanics and this is also the unit from which you will be having a lot of problems in the exam there is a very very high chance that kinematics and laws of motion will be combined to give you a problem in which you have to calculate how a particular object will move there is a very very high chance that you will get a problem in which you will have to choose whether to use concepts from laws of motion or work power energy to solve the question using one concept will make your problem easier using the other concept might take you down a very very lengthy calculation if you have not done enough practice of these problems it will be very tough for you to decide okay i have two options in front of me i can either use work energy theorem or i can use conservation of momentum or i can use balancing of forces you have to know which concepts work in which system to make your life easier only then will you be able to solve problems quickly from these chapters oscillations is also important but not as important as basics of mechanics and if you have a strong grasp of mechanics then oscillations will be very very intuitive for you you will be able to solve problems from oscillations also you will have one question from gravitation but you don't know which topic of gravitation that question might come from it might be a question about kepler's laws it might be a question about just gravitational fields or potential you don't know but you can be sure that gravitation will be required you will have one question from gravitation at least now it might be combined with other chapters but you should do gravitation dedicate enough energy to it 
thermodynamics and sound waves are two very important chapters because questions from these two are guaranteed but another thing that problems from these chapters are very very solvable there might be difficult problems but the topics are such that if you know all the concepts and you know the equations the expressions the formulas from these two chapters then applying them into the problem will be very very straightforward you will might you might initially get stuck in one problem for for example from sound waves let's say you have problem from doppler effect you might initially be confused of how to proceed but considering that you have to apply doppler's effect applying that particular equation will make your path very very clear and you will solve the problem before you even know it so remember thermodynamics and sound waves have very very solvable problems do these chapters thoroughly practice how to apply these concepts in various situations coming to 12th standard syllabus electrostatics and magnetism are the fundamental building blocks of almost the entire 12th syllabus so you should make sure that these two chapters you are doing very very thoroughly because these two chapters can not only be combined with each other but they can also be combined with the other chapters in this list this entire unit of electromagnetism is again a self sustainative unit you can have problems in which these concepts are combined to give one answer but if you have a strong intuitive understanding of electrostatics and magnetism then you can pretty much work out the other chapters also if you know electrostatics you can work out capacitors theory if you know magnetism you can work out electromagnetic induction also so make sure that you do electrostatics and magnetism thoroughly and practice problems that relate these chapters with other chapters now the latter part of 12th standard is where things start getting fun because these chapters are pretty much uh, self contained that is if you have a problem from ray optics let's say then 99% of the time you will not be required to use concepts from any other chapter to solve a problem problems from ray optics problems from modern physics problems from semiconductors only use topics from that chapter itself so do these chapters very thoroughly ray optics is very very important again very very soluble problems if you know mirror formula lens formula refraction from spherical surface if you just know the results not even the derivation not even the intuitive understanding only the mathematical results of topics from ray optics you will be able to solve most of the problems in them uh, without any difficulty without having to understand the concepts behind them thoroughly same goes from let's say nuclei nuclei is also very very important radiation and matter is also very important again you have done these chapters in chemistry also you are taught these chapters twice you have twice as much problems from those chapters examiners know this so examiners will ask questions understanding that you have done these chapters twice you should have a very very strong understanding they will give you very good questions from these chapters please do them radiation also is very important again not only because you have isolated problems from it you only need one concept that is the law of radiation and you will be able to solve every single problem given to you if you know that one particular law that the number of nuclei present dictate the rate of decay then no matter how a system given to you no matter how a problem is structured you only need that one single fact and this entire chapter is on your fingertips but of course that involves a lot of practice as well so practice is very very important in these chapters these chapters are i would say wholly problem oriented the theory is not that difficult theory is very very easy to understand but problems might be some problems might be downright shocking to you you will have no idea this is a system now how do i apply the concept given to me 
you might have no idea but remember one thing that if there's a problem from ray optics if there's a problem from nuclei or dk you know that i have to only apply this particular concept so thinking how to apply that concept that is where the problem lies not in how do i work with this system so you should do a lot of chapters from ray optics and nuclei because you will get not one but multiple questions from ray optics you might get multiple questions from nuclei and atoms also do these problems very very thoroughly semiconductors and communication systems are not that important semiconductors is not that important because all the mathematics involved in semiconductors is very very straightforward you don't have many complex relations you don't have complex equations in semiconductors but in semiconductors intuitive understanding is very important because conceptual questions are examiners favorite from semiconductors for example p type n type semiconductors p n junctions even if you don't know the mathematics behind them very very thoroughly it does not matter you should have a very good understanding of the physics behind it because those thinking based problems will be asked from this chapter more often than any other chapter in physics statement based problems you will be given a few statements and you will be expected to answer also in statements these problems intuitive problems can be answered without even touching pen to paper without working anything just by imagining the system just by thinking about the concepts that you have learned you will be able to answer these questions the latter part of 12th is i would say again once again i would say it is wholly problem oriented do lots of questions not just from atoms and nuclei not just from dual nature and radiation but from the entire unit of modern physics and ray optics make sure that you have plenty of practice because if you don't have practice then any theory you've learned is more or less useless so these were the important chapters and important topics that you need to revise not learn revise before giving the exam i would once again like to iterate that problems in physics more often than not combine two or more chapters so make sure that you while revising problems from one particular chapter you are also conscious of this fact that i might be expected to know this concept in order to solve a question from a chapter that i may have never imagined could be connected with it so this has been the important chapters and important topics that you need to revise before the exam if you have any further queries if you need to ask anything else please let us know in the comments below we will be reading all of them and we are always here to answer anything that you need also while you are there please subscribe to our channel and please stay tuned for any further updates on the exam or preparation for iit or nest thank you mm -hmm.